one-on-one -on -one again, as you just saw in the, uh, the previous uh, portion of this video. Um, it looks like I got some new mag, uh, some magazine uh, base plates, and that would be true. Today I'm doing a review slash install on these uh, uh, Spencer Performance uh, magazine base plates for the Smith & Wesson M&P uh, 9 or 40. Um, as y'all know, I got me a new magwell for my pistol, uh, and I couldn't run the standard base plates. As you can see, standard base plates catch. This here is actually a Pro Mag. This here is a standard base plate or a standard magazine, and you can see they don't they don't fit very well. That's why I went and got these. All right. Uh, so these. These base plates are a big upgrade to my gun, in my sense, because they're just, they're amazing. Now, Spencer's performance ain't paying me or anything like that, so I'm just gonna say that now, but these are an amazing upgrade. Now, we're gonna be doing two different installs, like I said. One on a standard Smith & Wesson M&P mag, and then one on a uh, Pro mag for the Smith & Wesson M&P. Um, they, Run just like any other MMP mag, so. And uh, if you're like me, this is gonna be a good install for y'all. So, make sure whenever also another thing, whenever you order these, because I will be putting the description, uh, the link to the uh, website below in the description. Make sure whenever you order these, there's two different models that you can get. You can get one for the old MMP that has the old circles uh, uh, center dot, right, on the base plate, which would be right around here, all right, or if you're like me and you have the squared base plate, make sure you put that in. Because if you don't put that in, then you won't get these square retaining clips. Or these uh, center retaining clips. Uh, and either way, I do recommend doing it anyways. Due to the fact that the older ones are polymer, these are metal. Alright, they're aluminum. Alright. And they hold up a lot better. And uh, they're just amazing. So, let's go ahead and get this, in, uh, this install started. Alright, first thing we're going to do is you're going to take a lining punch, or if you like me, like I said, you have a magwell on, and now you have this old retaining clip, you can use a retaining clip. All right, I'm going to show you two different ways. Uh, first one we're going to do with the pin. It's simple. And I like the pin because it's smaller, and I can actually push it down a lot easier, but the pin, uh, but the, the lining punch is a little bit more stiff, so it's easier to get off. Now, these magazine base plates have been taken off quite a few times, uh, especially with cleaning. But all you're going to do is you're going to push it down a tad bit, you're going to push it off, with your thumb, make sure you keep that base plate on and slowly let off because it is under pressure. Now the difference between these base plates and these new base plates, the uh, the retaining pins, is uh, this in here, I do like these a lot better. I wish that uh, uh, Spencer Performance, our Springer Performance correction, would have uh, provided the bottom part of this retaining pin, our retaining uh, clip, with the grooves to match up with the uh, with the spring because these right here they just slide right off if you don't hold it down right but that's just my thought now all you're gonna do is you're gonna put this uh, this uh, retaining uh, plate on uh, onto the spring and you're gonna push it down you're gonna take your base plate you know slide it on ever so softly now you're gonna give it some finesse whenever you put it on and whenever you put it on you want to hear a click if you hear that click that means it's on properly all right that's how you would do it with the MMP standard magazines now this Pro Mag is roughly new, it's not too old, so it is going to take some finesse to get off. But you're going to do the same thing. I recommend doing it from the back, right? From the back of the, because uh, there's two holes on these. All right, you're going to do it from the back hole, push it down a little more, and you're going to push it off. And that's all you're going to do. Keep the tension on it, the plate, slowly lit up the uh, retaining plate, put the new plate on. Push the spring them plate down. Like I said, these magazines are pretty new. This one is, so it's gonna take some nesting, but you're gonna push it in, you're gonna hear the click again. And that means it's installed. Now running these magazines are really easy. Alright, these base plates. If you notice right here on my mag on my magwell, you can actually see the retaining plate proceed out a little bit. So that's a good thing. Alright. So that means I don't have to get my hand all the way up in there, especially when I'm doing a fast reload. I can just pop it in and then get back on target. 
so they're really easy to uh, manipulate and they like the gun look really nice so these right here cost me roughly $17.50 each after shipping it came out to $52 and some change um, it wasn't bad uh, I did get three of them all right uh, for my full setup and I'm gonna be using these in IDPA um, you can also I'm also gonna be getting these they also come in a hundred and forty millimeter and hundred and seventy millimeter uh, uh, magazine base plates for the extension especially if you're gonna run be uh, running IPSC or USPSA or something like our open division I'm also gonna be gonna sell these but also in the 170 and 140 millimeter for the uh, open division as well when I make when I start building my open gun but other than that, you know, they're they're really amazing. They're they're really stylish. I really like them. They're aluminum. They take a lot of beating, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So I do recommend if you have a if you if you're looking to upgrade your gun and looking for something relatively cheap, I do recommend these. Now they're not gonna break the bank, but they will hold up. All right. Uh, there's a little bit of wiggle room in some of them, uh, but not too bad. Um, after you start using them a little bit, you know, they'll start, they'll start roughing it out. Especially when you start uh, loading them up with ammo, then it'll start expanding them out a little bit more and have a little bit tighter fit. Um, but other than that, you know, they're, they're a great piece, great piece to add on to. Um, so I do recommend, like I said, I do recommend getting out there and getting them. Uh, they are used for a 9 as well as a 40 uh, Smith & Wesson. Um, <clears throat> it also shows on the, I did not show you, but on the bottom of the base plate, uh, the retaining pin it does show which I'll hang on, I'll take that off real quick it does show so you make sure you get in the right one M and P on there all right so we'll show M and P and on the bottom right here it will come in uh, M and P 9 uh, but it'll always show that um, but don't be alarmed if it comes in showing like that because like I said M and P 9 and 40 magazines are the same ones the only difference is is the capacity um, ability to hold 40 and uh, uh, 9 millimeter and then the, in the gap that's all it is so but everything else is all the same so uh, yeah so please like my video uh, share the video subscribe to the channel uh, share my video or share my channel please uh, leave comments concern if you have any uh, please be professional because there are children to watch my videos um, but other than that you know this is 40 caliber 101 signing off